Uh, in this video, I'm going to have a look at the new synth, the retro synth. Uh, so let's call it up and have a look at it. Uh, it has four synth engines. Uh, standard analogy with our waveforms and noise oscillators, two oscillators. Sync, a game with two oscillators. Wave table, which we can flick through a, a whole variety and frequency modulation. Uh, kind of interesting, inspired by 70s, 80s uh, and 60s sort of uh, synths. So uh, the... It's, it's going to be very familiar. There's two oscillators. Oscillator 1 uh, can be pulse, thinner pulse, or noise. And oscillator 2, triangle, sawtooth, pulse. And you can uh, pitch that one. This is your modulation. You can send it to filter envelope or LFO. Switching it on. You have vibrato. Different types of vibrato. You can have a square wave. Uh, filter. Filter envelope. We can send that. So we have a slow attack there and it's opening up. Amp. And a, a, a sub, I presume it's a sub. Uh, can't really mute those to hear it. Yeah, kind of a sub. An effect section with fa phasers and choruses. This would remind me a lot of the Juno 106. Two oscillators. And an amp form blow. Glide. Switch the vibrato off. That's your key track, I presume, so. Yeah, so filter isn't really applied to the low end, it is to the top, it is applied to the low, it isn't to the top. So let's have a flick through some of the strings. That string sounded very like a... There we go. It sounds a little, you know, there's not much, probably a slightly more detailed ESP, is it? Uh, so, sequence elements, I presume, are going to be a lot of, uh, that's kind of nice. So, 
So yeah, the different uh, sync or uh, engines, synth engines, will have different skins. But you'll notice that the uh, all the filter LFO and amp envelopes all stay the same. So it's kind of interesting to be able to flick through different synth type engines. So I presume something like, and if we stick on the arpeggiator, we can start to get some really interesting uh, So yeah, nothing too complicated. There's a lot of retro stuff going on here. Uh, I envisage that a lot of dance music will have a lot more arpeggiated stuff. That'd be nice for sort of techy stabs or housey stabs. So yeah, there's a lot more possibilities uh, opened up. That retro synth, it's kind of basic. It's all right. You know, you'll you'll get some bleeps and plops out of it. It's not going to change the world. Uh, the the next thing I'm going to take a look at is the new bass amp designer, and I'm just going to have a quick flick through it because it's it's not going to be too relevant. Well, you know, it might be relevant enough, but it's it's going to be exactly like the the amp designer, just with bass heads rather than uh, amp heads. So the next video we'll look at bass designer. <laughs> 